Perry Football Club. They were thrown out. They were thrown out. They were thrown out. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dead and Bury. I'm your host, Captain FM, and I welcome you to this long-term football manager save where we are taking Bury AFC all the way back to the promised land and beyond now because we're already in the Football League. And we are in a title challenge, ladies and gentlemen. If you look at the screen behind me now, you can see that we have caught up to Warsaw at the top end of the league table last time we were together we were battling it out in the playoffs i said if we get on a good run you never know what could happen and this team just has not stopped winning i'm telling you now i think we've had one defeat in the whole time or two defeats sorry in the whole time that we've been managers since our takeover of our second reign as bury afc manager if you don't know what happened with me as bury manager i was sacked i had two years out of the game and then they got me back in to the place to be in charge of the football club and then go for my second stint to take them to the Premier League. So now we've got a new objective to get to the Prem and we could get out of League 2 at the first time of asking. Wow. I don't have to talk about too much. We're going to go into the schedules. I'm going to show you what's been going off. But that's how close it is, ladies and gentlemen. And we have only got a matter of games. A matter? Uh, <laughs> we've only got so many games left to the end of the season. We have around about five games, I think now, or maybe four or five games. Today, I'm going to be bringing you just the one game. It's the biggest of the lot. We are playing Walsall at the top of the table. It's away at Walsall. It's going to be an absolute cruncher. If we can walk away with all three points, then we could walk away by going top of the table by the end of this episode today. If we lose, then we will be six points behind and with three games remaining. There's four games with them remaining, not five. With three games remaining, and then we will be struggling to get that top spot. But if not, then we will be pushing for automatic promotion, and it doesn't matter how you do it. We will be in League One and one step closer to the Premier League. Right, enough of me talking. Let's get straight out to the action. We'll show you how we've been getting on since we're last together. Right, since last time we were together, we played Port Vale in the league. We followed that up with a victory over Flyde, AFC Flyde, with a 4-2 victory at home. Omatoi, who is just coming up from injury, got injured in this game. He's been out for about seven weeks with, uh, with, a, with a pretty bad injury at that as well. Warren Robson, who's just getting better and better and better. Daryl Thompson and Ashley Elka all on the score sheet to get us the three points. That was then followed up with a 3-0 thrashing over Bradford City with a semi J Robbie Rogers and... Lubala who come in for Omatoi and he's been doing an absolute fine job on that left hand side. That's the thing now, we seem to just have strength in depth. Anyone that gets replaced, getting replaced with similar style and skillful players and I'm just absolutely loving it. We are in top form. We then went into March and we battled to get a 1-1 draw against Leighton Orient. They're not doing too bad, I think just outside the playoffs at this moment in time. So very difficult to go to... I think it's London Road, I think that's where they're, where they're based. I think London Road is theirs, or that could be Peterborough. Anyway, Easter Road. I don't know. Anyway, it could be one of those. Laying Orient's ground, anyway. Seeing a couple of different ground here. Brea Group Stadium. I don't know what the hell that is. Anyway, they were 1 0 after 35 minutes. Jackson Conway on the score sheet after 75 to get us the point. That was a followed up with a 3 0 thrashing over Exeter City. They're down in the doors, bottom of the table. We expected three points and we got three goals and three points to take back to Bury with us. Warren Robson getting a double in this one and the baller, and we all scored inside 70 minutes and it was game over that was then followed up with a 2-0 victory over Morecambe and Morecambe are the, one of the teams that are pushing to get into the automatic places so this was a massive result for us to get a clean sheet and a professional performance like this at May Zinn Warren Robson getting off, uh, getting us off to a great start after 57 minutes getting the first goal and then Perry Moss coming off the bench for Elica to get the goal on the 76 to give us all three points and goals just kept on absolutely raining in and we weren't conceding either. Another clean sheet for us, three games in a row and a 4-0 performance to go on top of that. Daryl Thompson, Elika, Conway and Matthew Smith getting all the goals inside 70 minutes and it was game, set and match. But all things must come to an end and this one was a bit of a collapse from us if I'm going to be honest with you. Warren Robson getting us to a perfect start after 14 minutes. That was then... Cancelled out on 54th minute and then they scored on the 80th minute to finish off the match. And for the first time in about two and a half months, we saw ourselves go down to a loss. It's not a bad, 
bad situation to be in, if I've got to be honest. At one point, when we were 1-0 up in this game, we went top of the table. So if we can get a win today, I'm guessing we're doing better than Warsaw on goal difference, and we will go top if we get the win. And as you can see, Walsall, then it's Wickham, Cambridge, and Tramia Rovers before the end of the season. If we win this game, then we're coming back for the final two. If we lose this game, we're still coming back for the final two games of the season. Right, let's have a look at the league. But that's how close it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's only five points between us and Gillingham, who are in fourth place. But there's only three points between us and Warsaw, who are in first. That's the most important one. And as you can see, goal difference, I don't understand why we went top. Don't, we must have gone top by a point there because we're actually quite off. Six goals, in fact. They're better off than us. So we need a six-goal swing as well to go in our favour if we do end up on the same position. So today, we're probably not going to go top of the table, but we can shorten the gap and then go into that Wickham Wanderers game on a win. But anyway, enough of my talking. Let's get straight into the action. It's us against Walsall, away from home. Win today, we can go on and win the league. Lose today. And it looks like automatic promotion. Right, here we go. Game day is upon us. And it is obviously the biggest game of the lot of the season so far. So let's just get straight on to the team talk. But this is the starting 11 for us today. It's Cornelis in goal. Rogers, Ajayi and Billy Brook has cemented his place at the back with Ajayi. They've formed their partnership once again, just like I had two years ago. They're back together. And Billy Brook and Ajayi are our two centre halves. For the rest of this season. Samuel Naughty on the left hand side. Smith, Thompson and Warren Robson finishing out that midfield. He is our best player at this moment. He's our most influential player as well. Elika Omatoy on the left hand side. And Jackson Conway up front. Come on, we can get the win today. I've got all the feels about this one. Right, so they're going for a 4-4-2. Four, four, Just looking at their formation to see if there's any old lads in there. Is there any ringers? Not one that jumps out. A lot of regens in there as well. Baker, Miller... DuPont up front, Burgess on the right side. They're saying that their two best players are their two strikers, Thorndike and DuPont. So we need to watch out, especially DuPont, 19 goals in 41 games this season. What does George Mendonca say? Well, George says go out there and go and get the win. Go and impress us. And I absolutely agree with him. I also come in there and I say, nice and calm, they've got faith in you and everyone bloody loves it. Right, this is the first highlight. Nine minutes on the clock, and it looks like it's going to come to Warsaw. But no, Warren Robson does uh, intercept it. It's Jackson Conway. Can he put us one nil up? And he does. And he puts us in front. It's the most perfect start for Bury. And it's a mistake from their youngster up top, who we said to watch out for. He does give the ball away very cheaply in the middle of the park. And Robson intercepts, bursts forward, gives the pass to Conway. And in a flash, it is one nil to the Bury. The goalkeeper dives out of the way. I don't know what he's doing, but I will take it to the bank. Thank you very much. It sees now. This is how it stands. It's 78 points to Warsaw. 78 points to us. Whew. It's a big one, isn't it? It's a big one. Uh, anyway, there's a free kick here, though. And it's Miller with a free kick. And ooh, it looks like it comes off the bar a little bit. The keeper does uh, jump on it. Hopefully, that's the end of the highlight. Right. Here we go once again. And it's Rogers now to Thompson. Back to Robbie Rogers. Rogers now on the ball. Gives it to Dal Thompson to Matthew Smith. And Smith looks for the ball over top of the hills. It's Jackson Conway. Can he make it two? He should be making it two. It's a clear cut opportunity. Two that we've had now. We've taken one and given away one as well. I don't think we'll get anything from this corner. We do. And it's Alec who it over the top of the bar once again. And we could we, this game could be out of sight. Right, another corner to us. Matthew Smith. Can we make it two? Now Alec with the header again. He's winning it. And he's winning it, but he's putting it over the top of the bar twice in succession. Five minutes to go until the break. And hopefully we don't do anything silly here. We just hold on until the break. We are an attacking. We do always play attacking football. So hopefully we don't. And here we go. And here comes Burgess. Puts the ball into the box. He's headed, but he's headed. Ah, oh, way over the bar. Don't do something silly. So we give away a penalty. We've literally three seconds to go before the end of the first half. Goalkeeper's got to save it for us. He doesn't. They don't deserve any of this. But they're going to go in front. Uh, no, in front. They're going to go into the break. Drawing now. Thank you to Sammy AJ, our captain, most experienced player on the pitch, decides to do something outrageously stupid and give away a penalty. Literally the last kick of the first half. Well done, Sammy AJ. They're now three points ahead of us in the league. So we've got to do it all again. You've been magnificent though, boys. Go out there. Just continue what you're doing. Right, so free kick to us. Robson goes for it. Oh, I thought he was in. 
<laughs> I actually thought it was in. He's capable of something like that. I know he hasn't done much in the time that we've been on camera with us, but he has been outstanding for us in the in this really good run that we've had. Thompson gets fouled, and hopefully we get another highlight from this. We don't, but there is something that comes from the goal kick from that highlight that we did not see. And here comes Elliot, who wins the ball. We are the better team here. We are the better team in this match. Here comes Warren Robson. He's bursting in the defence, and Robson hits it wide. But it's coming. We're building something nicely. I feel like we've got the momentum with us. Elika on a 6.5. Omatoy, who's been very quiet on the left-hand side as well. We've got Lubala who can come on. I like to keep Elika on in big games. And here he is. Ashley Elika. Can he get the ball into the box? I think he can, can he? He gets the ball back to Smith. We win it back. Here comes Robbie Rogers. Rogers who loses out. And then Dupont does win the ball here. And it's a big chance for them. And uh, they nearly hit us on the counter-attack there. Bit of a sucker punch nearly happened once again. Uh, we are going to get, we're going to keep Elika on on the 6.5, but I'm going to get Omatoy off the pitch and we're going to get Lubala on. So I've made two substitutions actually. We've gone with Lubala who's come on to the left hand side and we've gone for our Greek on loan left back, Angelos Hepafimu who's come on at left back for uh, Samuel Naughty who was on a 6.3 and I didn't realise he was having such a torrid time on the left hand side there, but hopefully this can change it around. I've kept Elika on as a 6.5. Just because he enjoys big games and I need him out there. Here comes Smith now. Smith to Thompson. I feel like we're building something. But we have to be really, really watchful of this counter-attack. And a big chance for Walsall to get back into this one. Well, not to get back into it. But to bloody score and go in front. Um, they've got a lad on 6.7. Dupont, who's having not the best game in the world. Anyway, I'm talking. And we're coming up to the final 10 minutes here. And we start from the back like we always do. And it comes to Jay. To Rogers now. Rogers puts the ball up to Jackson Conway to Elika. Can we get a goal here? Jackson Conway does really well. He bursts down the right side. It's not the best cross. Dupont does well. But here comes Thompson. Can he find Angelos? He does. Angelos to uh, Lubala to, to Robson. Can Warren do something? He's running at the defence. He goes for the strike. Goalkeeper makes the save. But he did deserve better, it says. Still three points between us and Walsall at the top end of the table. Even if we don't get a win today, this point will be absolutely massive to just keep us at three points but I'm saying this as these are now on attack and could this be the commentator curse here how can we win the ball back and it's Walsall who's coming forward with it if they score here they don't deserve it I'm just going to say ball into the box he's headed away Lubala but he's uh, he's panicked and he uh, only can edit to their play and he goes parry again and it's Baker now back to Perry but they're going all the way back to the centre half. here O'Connor to Dupont Dupont who's not in the best game in the world to Collier who loses the ball to Warren Robson and can this be the goal can this be the opportunity that we strike and it goes Warren Robson Robson bar into the box Jackson Conway <laughs> right let's get off attacking and straight on to defending after we see the goal obviously go into the back of the bloody net fantastic stuff here comes Robson bursting forward tackled Conway's there to just do what he does best and he posts Coaches it into the back of the net and it puts Bury 2 1 up. Right, pause the game. Attacking off, defending on, shout, concentrate. That's all we need to say to them. That's all we need to say to the lads. Right, we're going into stoppage time. There's only three minutes to go. We just need to hold on, and this will be an absolutely humongous win for us. I say that with a minute to go. We don't really normally go defensive too much, but we have to do it today. The ball is pumped forward. Angelos is there, he wins the ball back and he pumps it over the top. Oh, uh, Conway's got to get to it, but no, it's Smith. And can we put the final nail in the coffin? It's a strike, but that should waste time. Hopefully we should have probably kept hold of the ball a little bit more, but there's uh, 15 seconds to go on the clock. The goalkeeper pumps it up. If you just got to boot it, Lubala, or just run with it, and he is, he's running with it. <laughs> Don't go for the goal, whatever you do. Thompson, seconds left. This should be it. It should blow. The referee does. And we've got an absolute humongous victory for the boys from Bury against Walsall. And it puts us on the same point as the lads from Walsall. And we are going into the final three games of the season on the same point to go for the title. It's insane stuff. Only now can we mess this one up. All we've got to do is win the next three games and we will be champions, I believe so. Walsall are the ones who are cranking up under, cracking under the pressure, not us. We are thriving it. Well, bloody done, the boys. They all absolutely love it. All right, so there is confirmation of the 2-1 victory over Walsall. The top of the table clash. Two tribes go to war. Baby, we've walked out with all three points and we are bloody delighted about it. Right, 
Going to stick with the same plan as I was going to do. We're just bringing you the one game today. The next time we're going to come back is we're going to skip the Wiccan game and we're going to come back for the last two games of the season. It's either going to be a title challenge or we're just going to be cementing automatic promotion. Either or, it's going to be a celebration and I can't wait to bring it here. Unless we lose all three games now and we drop out and we have to go in the playoffs. I'm just commentator's curse once again. I just don't think it's going to happen. We're in such good form. We've got momentum building. And I'm very, very much delighted with the team so far. I can't believe that the second stint... I was going to quit this game. It's unbelievable that the second stint is becoming such a successful one. Like I said, Wickham. And then we'll be back for Cambridge United and Tramia Rovers for the final two games of the season. The three winnable games. Walsall on the other hand. Let's have a quick look. Who have they got on their schedule? They've got Cambridge United, same as us, Crawley Town and Colchester. Very much similar type of games, but look at their form, ladies and gentlemen. They were 11 points clear of me at one point, and we've caught up to them. They've won one in about six games, so they need... <sighs> they're, they are, they're, their morale is down. I'm just going to say it. It's ours to lose. It's ours to lose, even though we're not top of the table just yet. But form just shows that we are the better team going into this. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Do share on social media with your friends and family. I'm losing my voice. I'm too excited. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you for the support. Always appreciated. I'll see you in a couple of days' time for another episode of oh, Dead and Bury. The story of AFC Bury. It goes on and on and on. We just do not stop. What a series. Bye-bye.